Hello, good morning, dear friends from the Sacred Planet community. It is such a joy, such a pleasure to say hello to you. Um, I'm recording this video on Monday, June 17th. Um, so it's the day of the new moon. So sitting here with the energies of this beautiful new moon and remembering um, the last time that we were all together in community, in um, ceremony, in just that beautiful energy of love and togetherness um, and wondering how you all are doing, um, how the summer has been going, how the energies have been happening for each of you individually, how beautiful it's been to meet some of you so far and how much I look forward to meeting um, the ones of you who eventually feel called uh, to have one-on-one -on -one time together. So here I am and just tuning into these beautiful energies of the new moon in Cancer that was so beautiful, so nurturing, but at the same time with um, the square to the nodes and of course Pluto opposing the new moon, which has activated in a big way this Pluto retrograde, which has been in that um, place since June 11th when Pluto went retrograde and it squared now going into this week and it begins this place where Pluto is going to be squaring the nodes and so I wanted to tell you also about my own personal journey with it I personally have the nodal axis of Aries Libra in my chart so when Pluto was in Capricorn I deeply felt this last fall and I personally personally felt this deeply 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 and it was such a big time of transformation at a personal level it is sometimes it takes you into these deep places of dark night of the soul uh, of course always with a deep intention to transform you and to connect you to your deep power within to allow you to go into the deep places of your own places of the darkness and of the creation of those places that are called the gift of darkness. It is the places from where the caterpillar goes into the cocoon and goes and becomes the butterfly. It is the places where the baby goes into the mother's womb or grows from the mother's womb and then comes beautifully forth into the light as that beautiful baby. So again, light cannot exist without the dark and a lot of it, this Pluto squaring the nodes is how I felt it deeply in my life and how I know some of you have been feeling it deeply as well but my intention in making this video is number one in thinking about the beautiful beautiful moment that we all share together the ones that were able to be there live for the cacao ceremony on June 17th for that new moon in Gemini and the ones who were able to see it as a recording afterwards, the number one intention for making this video is to invite you and to ask you to save the date um, because in beautiful, with beautiful Jocelyn's blessing and in conversation with Jocelyn and how she is also doing this beautiful course uh, of alchemy that she's going to be presenting starting at the end of July and in August, and just of course thinking in more beautiful ways to integrate, to share in community, we thought of doing uh, cacao ceremonies for the equinox in September and also for uh, the winter solstice. So please save the date if you're available. We're going to be uh, hosting it on Sunday. Uh, uh, September 17th is going to be the, the equinox cacao ceremony at 2 p.m. Eastern time and then the solstice one uh, currently, we plan on having it on Sunday, December 17th at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And these are just moments that are going to be, yes, in connection to the new moon, but of course, in connection to the equinoxes, to the solstices, which are what connects us so deeply to the earth and the cosmos. So number one, to invite you to save the date for that. And the number two um, intention of making this video is especially in connection with these energies of the Pluto retrograde and how it is a time, it's, it's an invitation to transform, to go deeply into our places 
of transformation, uh, places that sometimes we don't want to see, but that are so important to see. It's the places where we find the gold. It's the places where we hide our treasures, our deepest treasures, and where we find these places of transformation. For me personally, it is um, when I was able to go deeply into these places of transformation last fall that allowed me to now be here uh, with you, with the Sacred Planet community, that allows me to now be here in service to you, to Jocelyn, to everything that we're creating together in connection to the earth, in connection to the cosmos. So with, it, with this in mind, with this intention, we wanted to offer this beautiful discount with the sacred number of 33% off all of the readings to allow for everyone who feels called to have a reading right now, to have an alchemical astrology reading, to book these readings to so that we may connect so that if you feel called to it i'll be so happy so honored so privileged to be here in support of you as a guide to you around your mythic map around your mythic journey to see where these nodes are hitting your chart where the points of transformation are for you how you may uh, tune into them and the beauty of it is also because as Pluto squares the nodes the perfect position of Pluto right now in Capricorn in alignment with Neptune in, in Pisces almost at the exact degree are creating this beautiful yod pointing to Venus and Venus right now in 20, at 28 degrees at Leo, that beautiful triangle that they're forming to each other, it's called the finger of God. So these beautiful, the planet of transformation, the planets of dreams, the planet of just going into the deep depths and also to achieve your dreams are pointing in the direction of Venus, in the direction of that transformation, in the direction of our hearts. So this is a beautiful transformative time because Venus also and Mars just almost came to conjunction in Leo right now, but they didn't. Then they began separating again, also inviting us to come to to, to come to that point, to do the work for integration, to do the work for alignment of our deep feminine, our deep masculine, our sacred feminine, our sacred masculine, to take them to that place of transformation. Because as they continue their journey up around the sky for the next six months, it's going to be a journey of meeting each other again. And they are going to meet again in Aquarius in February of 2024, which is also the time when Pluto is going to be back in Aquarius. So all of this next six months is truly an invitation from the heavens. It's an invitation from the universe. All of this sacred timing helping us to come to that deep integration within ourselves, preparing for this new time, this new era, this new coming of the entry of Pluto into Aquarius. And what Pluto is inviting us to do now is go deep, go in. And so however I may be of service to you, however I may support your journey now and into the next six months, we invite you to book these readings and we are making them as accessible as we can make them, um, hoping that this will work for you and so that we may meet and I may come and support you uh, during this time. I, um, I will look so much forward to meeting you. Um, you who are looking at this video right now, it will be such a pleasure and such a joy to be with you. So I look forward to being with you. Um, happy cycle of the moon as it grows now into the full moon. And I will look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Bye.